is up guys, welcome to RC Lobotics. This is a very, very special episode today. Uh, today, if you've seen the title, then today we are building a food plane. And this is the uh, airframe which we are going to sacrifice to make this food plane. Um, this was the Ripslinger FT racer that I picked up from Florida. I've crashed it a few times. It's seen much better days now. There's the, the foam's all broken, this, that, and the other. So there's a few, um, there's a few structural parts that we need to repair. Once we've repaired the structural parts, my plan is to uh, leave the wing as it is. So the wing's going to stay as it is. And what we're going to do is is take as many cream crackers as we can. Shouldn't really bang them together because they're going to be structural part of the uh, the airframe. My plan is to. Uh, if it was just to make the entire aircraft completely out of food, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. I've seen a few videos online. It, it would be way too heavy to fly. The, never mind the, the the food would be too way too heavy. But the amount of glue that you would need to hold everything together, it'd be it, the thing would weigh a ton. So we're going to use a foam board, this foam board airframe, as our base model for this food airframe, and we're going to chop uh, each section out, replace it with a cracker. And we're going to have uh, uh, basically beams in between each each cracker made of foam, so that the, most some of the plane is foam, some of the plane is food, and then we're going to do as much aesthetic work as we can. My, I'm head hoping for sort of gingerbread aesthetic, but we'll see what we can do. So the first job we need to do is take this fuselage, strip all this covering off of it, so we can get just down to the formers. And then we need to work out exactly how many crackers we need to make up the bits of foam that we're going to take out of it. Hi Heston, it's Carl. Carl from RC Robotics. You know, I made you that spag bowl that one time. Yeah, well, sorry, you're the one who makes all the weird stuff. I didn't know you're not supposed to put jelly babies in a quiche Lorraine. Heston, we're getting, up, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I need your help, my friend. I've got an idea. Now, that was my friend Heston on the phone, and he gave me the perfect recipe to make the perfect food plane. If you would like to make this recipe yourself at home, then all you will need is 12 dozen eggs, 16 packs of cream crackers from Aldi. Also, you're going to need one pound of gingerbread and a cream donut for your cow. And also, don't forget all that peanut butter to stick it all together with. Now, I've been baking all weekend, and here is the finished product. This is my food plane. I know. Fantastic, isn't it? Well, I know what you're thinking. Have I gone crackers? Well, yes, I have actually. I've used cream crackers for the fuselage and ice cream wafers for the formers. Now, if I would have used a soup or maybe a lobster to uh, to make this airplane, then I think the soup might have been a little bit too flimsy to make an airframe out of, and the lobster might have been a little bit too pinchy. So crackers was probably the best option. Here's from a word from our sponsor. Lightweight but nimble ice cream wafers, topped over a composite design of gingerbread and chocolate peanut butter mon bleu, with a honey glazed raspberry donut cowl topped off with a Neapolitan sundae in the cockpit. This isn't any food plane, this is an RC Lobotics food plane. So that's our recipe. We have our crackers for the fuselage, we have our ice cream wafers for the formers and the covering, have a nice ice cream sundae up here, and our gingerbread wings and tail to make everything nice and stable in the sky. And there is our lovely cream donut cowl. Now, also with this video, not only am I a pilot, but I am also a chef. Hey, you see? Now, the only thing left to do is plug in our battery and chuck this thing up into the air. Let's go. Ah, oh, I can see it here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's all trippy. <laughs> I painted that. Right, here we go. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Toes it's crossed. Fly or it's gonna smash. <laughs> go on, full chat. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please don't crash into us. <laughs> That's so fast. Keep it up a bit. <laughs> yeah! Oh no. Yeah, I've zoomed up. Look at that chocolate boy go. Chocolate boy! 
<laughs> it can't believe it actually works. How are you feeling, chef? Heston and blue ones out. <laughs> oh my god. How does it feel? Uh, heavy. Heavy. Very heavy. Yeah, please don't bring it towards us again like you did. Like that. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying, it just keeps getting out of focus. <laughs> oh God. It's tracking, it's, it's not. I mean, it's very, very heavy, but it's flying, it's not lacking in power. Mm. Can you do another pass like that? That's it. That's it. Sugar. I'll try and bring it from the left. Oh, shit. Wing to right. That's it. <laughs> we'll bring it into land now. Okie dokie. Bingo bongo, this is food plane. Requesting permission to land. So there we have it guys, that was my food plane that I made. This aircraft was very, very challenging to make and very, very challenging to fly as I would, wouldn't have imagined. Um, it was very, very heavy in the sky for what the actual plane is. It's only a 30, round about 30 size motor. We have a 980 kV Sunny Sky motor up here, but we have a much larger prop than what should be on. This should actually be on a 30 sized model. Um, not not a 980 motor, I think I've probably you know, done some damage to the motor, but it's a very, very old motor and it's showing wear now anyway. Um, the crackers and the ice cream, the ice cream wafers genuinely are genuine crackers and genuine ice cream wafers. This uh, ice cream up here, no, of course it's not ice cream. It would, number one, it'd be way too heavy to fly. Number two, it would have melted before I uh, flew it. This is just some, uh, Obviously polystyrene foam which I picked up from our local other camp and also this donut I'm afraid isn't real so I've cheated a little bit but the real um, the real crackers are genuinely real crackers however yes I have cheated no the crackers aren't any kind of integral structure part to the actual airframe at all they're all glued throughout the flight each an individual cracker could have fell off if it wanted to and the aircraft would have carried on flying because the eagle-eyed of you would have spotted that underneath all the crackers and the paint is what we call a flight test speed racer build kit. Now this is foam board. Foam board is very, very rigid, but extremely light when it's uh, made into the right formation. So in here we've got not, no wood, no nothing other than foam board, just folded over into, into specific areas and glued together with hot glue. Yes, that worked. Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. It's very, very heavy, but it flew beautifully. Um, thank you very much for joining us here at Arts and Robotics. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so the next time I upload a video, you are notified straight away. I've been Carl Benyon for Arts and Robotics. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>